welcome back. I'm Charlie. Uh, today we're going to be looking at painting uh, some small figures, airfix civilians for our model railway layout. So let's jump in and find out how to do that. It's my opinion that no model railway is complete without some civilians wandering around on the platforms and in the coaches themselves. So Airfix came out with uh, this package of uh, civilians, I think it was in the 60s, and you have a variety of people walking and sitting and the scooter and, it, and a few other odds and ends. Uh, one thing you notice that the clothing is a little bit muted in terms of the colour. So let's have a look at what's inside the box and how we should start preparing uh, the figures for painting. I've washed the figures in warm soapy water. I rinsed them out and allowed them to dry. Now the next step is to paint them. Now, it's easier to paint them all while they're still on the sprue. However, uh, you would still have to, once you cut them off, you'd have to sand it down, then paint that area. Or you can painstakingly go through each and every one individually, take them off the sprue, uh, trim them and, and sand them before you paint them. Uh, but for today's exercise, I'm just going to show you uh, what the next step is. It is acrylic and it should be relatively thick and that's better. So once again we'll just take this seated passenger and uh, just give them a, a quick coat. I'll just rub off some of that. Uh, so it doesn't go on overly thick. And we may as well do the others uh, while we have them. We'll do th these three uh, in this particular exercise. And you even paint the face black too. You'll see what happens um, when we get to the next stage. Just make sure you cover up everything on the figure. We'll just start off with um, adding a bit of colour. So make sure you either have a second brush or, or a clean brush. And what I'm going to do is, in the 50s and 60s, uh, there wasn't a lot of colour around in, in Britain. And as a consequence, uh, clothing was rather dull looking. So in this case, I'm going to use some brown. Removing some of it from the brush to try and get a dry brush effect. Bit heavy there, got to be pretty light with it so that it just pulls out the highlights. Got some white acrylic here and I'm just going to try and lighten this up. As I said, it's best done with a magnifying glass. So as you can see, the facial expressions have popped out a little bit and I've added a flash of colour uh, to this gentleman's shirt. Maybe he's got a scarf or something under his jacket. And, you know, you can see I've touched up his hands uh, to make it look as if, well, just to define his hands. And then I'll turn this one over. And you can see once again, 
you know, a little dab will do you. That's all you need just to define uh, the features. I can probably go back in and touch up uh, the suit jacket and maybe the hands and make sure he's got black shoes there. But, you know, when you think about it, something so small and we've been able to give them some definition and it's very simple. All you need is a couple of brushes, some acrylic paint, a steady hand and a magnifying glass and then, of course, uh, you still have to cut them out. So now what I'm going to try and do is just add a bit of colour uh, to the hair. It's very challenging, but uh, I've just mixed a little bit of orange and brown umber just to get a different colour and... I'm just dragging it across the, the back of the head and in this chap here uh, and I've got raw umber uh, I'm just going to try see what it's like if I just skim uh, a face with this maybe just touch on the hands See if you can and hopefully you can see that. It doesn't take a lot to represent uh, some clothing and get some definition that there's folds in the clothing, etc. Even at a small scale. I'm going to chance it and try and get a little splash of colour in there. And there I think this chap is complete. I've gone back in and I've lightened up his face a little bit. Give him a little bit of splash of colour for a shirt, tie and dab the hands in. I think that's quite acceptable. And if he's sitting in the platform or inside a coach, I think you'll look quite at home. You don't have to worry about putting eyes or lips in because the shadow effect will define the face. And there's no question this is a gentleman on his way to the city. You can see that I've just touched on the hands and lightly on the face. Maybe <clears throat> I'll just lighten up the face and just touched on the hands a little bit. And I'll turn that one over and you can see the face just... And you know, that's all you need is just to highlight it. Because what happens is the acrylic just finds its way into the nooks and crannies and, that, and it just gives you some definition. I hope you've enjoyed this little 
art demonstration of how to paint figures for your model railway. It's very simple. Uh, you don't have to be an artist and, and you can have your figures come to life on your layout, whether sitting or standing on the platform or in a coach sitting, uh, looking out a window. Simple tools, simple procedures that will give you figures that are lifelike for your model railway layout. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks very much. Please subscribe. Bye for now.